Hi, this is Neeraj, the Renegade Pharmacist. This video, I'm very excited to talk to you all about one of my most passionate subjects, and that is digestive health, and how to look after your health so you can be your very best every single day. So if you're somebody right now who's suffering from any of these symptoms like excessive bloating, uh, gas, uh, inflammatory bowel diseases, uh, or if you have constipation mixed with diarrhea, or if you're somebody who has got an autoimmune condition right now and, and is like feeling helpless because you don't know how to solve it, then I have some good news for you because I'm actually somebody who had all of these symptoms and I even got a autoimmune condition at an early age and then managed to recover from it. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my story and hopefully you can relate to it and then you can discover exactly what led me to finding the solution that finally got me back to full health. So I used to be a pharmacist and I worked in a very stressful environment and I was very, very stressed psychologically as well and that meant me I would go out and try and find things to, to give me comfort. So I was drinking excessively on the weekends, I was eating junk foods and all of these things I believe impacted the health of my gut. So when we understand the gut and how it works, we can really understand what are the good things for our body and what are the bad things. So our digestive system actually is very largely um, populated with bacteria. It's called the gut microbiome. And this is composed of good bacteria and bad bacteria. The good bacteria are very, very beneficial and they actually help you digest your food better and they're also linked to your moods as well. The bad bacteria causes indigestion and it prevents the growth of good bacteria, but it can also eat away at your gut lining and cause something called leaky gut. And if that's left unchecked, then what happens is the toxins seep in from your undigested food into your bloodstream, causing the inflammation and inflammatory response, and you basically get very, very sick with all the symptoms that I just told you, and it may even lead to triggering autoimmune disease. Okay, so we need to look after our gut bacteria. That is really, really important, firstly. Uh, secondly, if you're uh, taking lots of medications on a daily basis, if you're somebody who takes drugs, then those uh, toxins can be very acidic in your digestive system and that can also lead to excess acid being produced and it can then cause uh, perforations in your gut wall. But it could also be that these medications are suppressing your digestive juices, which means that food isn't digesting properly and then that food ferments in your body and then that leads to the overgrowth of bad bacteria. So a lot of this is quite complicated, but a lot of it um, comes down to looking after our bacterial flora. So um, what I started to do uh, when I was very sick was I started to research exactly how do I look after my bacterial flora and how do I repair the gut lining because I believe that the le leaky gut is what triggered this immune response in my body that led to ulcerative colitis. And that's when I discovered colostrum, okay? So colostrum is this amazing substance um, and this, this is such a healing, healing substance for your digestive system. Ayurvedic doctors have been using this for thousands of years to treat their patients and they believe that most problems of chronic disease start with disruptions in your digestive health. Okay, so what does colostrum do? Well, colostrum, what it does is it, it actually has growth factors that go in and start repairing and promoting the growth of healthy cells. So that fixes the, the actual perforations that happen in your digestive tract. Um, but what it also does is it, because of the, the amount of other good nutrients in here and good healthy fats um, and other things like lactoferrin, they actually promote um, the growth of good bacteria as well. And when you get good bacteria colonizing and forming in your digestive tract, it, they start eating away and killing off the bad bacteria and they suppress the growth of bacteria because they start consuming all the nutrients um, and outnumbering the bad bacteria. So the bad bacteria gets starved of all the, of the nutrients. Um, so this has a double effect. It, not only does it promote the good of uh, bacteria to grow, but it also heals and repairs your, your lining of the gut. So how do I take this? So what, would, what do we do um, to, 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 uh, to actually make it work? So 
I always take colostrum on an empty stomach, okay? Colostrum should always be consumed on an empty stomach um, because you don't want other substances from food getting in the way of the colostrum reaching the target site, which we want is the stomach lining, okay, and the, the lining of the intestine. So I take very big doses of this. I take two massive tablespoons of this, okay? First thing when I get up, so just like this, you take big tablespoon, it actually tastes really delicious. The colostrum that we, we provide is very, very delicious, very creamy and nice, okay? Take two big tablespoons. So the first tablespoon, put it into your mouth and let it start absorbing through your gums into your mouth. So some of the good um, nutrients and the growth factors and immune factors will start uh, going into your bloodstream and that is a good way to start getting the, the healing benefits of colostrum moving around your body, okay? But then what you do is you allow it to, to um, absorb for a few minutes and then you coat it in your own saliva and then swallow it. And that saliva coating stops it from getting um, digested fully by all the, the um, stomach acids and it then can go into your intestines and start working on your intestines as well. Okay, so that's uh, what I do, I do that first thing um, in the morning on an empty stomach, two big tablespoons. Okay, then I won't eat any food uh, because this fills you up. Okay, I'll just drink water um, and this will fill you up for at least to around 11 or 12 o'clock. And then I'll, I'll introduce some uh, light meals then and then I'll have a, a more um, heavier meal around uh, five or six o'clock. But then after seven o'clock, um, I would again not have any food. And then I'd, I'd do the same thing again at night before I go to sleep, uh, two big tablespoons on an empty stomach. And I'd like ha to have like an intermittent fast where I don't eat solid heavy meals for the first four hours of the day and the last four hours of the day. And this gives your, your digestive system a chance to heal and repair. Okay, so it's a really good idea to fast if you're suffering from any of these issues because it helps your digestive system have a break, okay, to rejuvenate and repair. And um, then I'll do that for at least two weeks. I'll keep that routine for at least two weeks to see uh, the benefits. But I would also do this. I would, I would uh, make sure I'm not consuming foods that are known foods that cause issues in your digestive system. So this would be things like gluten, uh, wheat, barley, um, also uh, things that are grown on a mass scale, agricultural crops that contain um, toxins like glycophosphates, the companies like Monsanto uh, sell um, as weed killers um, in, in big, big, big amounts like uh, pesticides and fertilizers, all these things that are artificially made that we don't even, uh, that, that, that are not that aware of, but are actually disrupting the bacterial flora. Okay, so glycophosphates is one of these, these um, very uh, uh, emerging ones that we know now that disrupts bacterial flora and so I will make sure I don't have any of those I'm not exposed to any of those um, or as little as possible I like really minimize it for at least two weeks because you actually don't need that long for your digestive system to repair they your digestive system um, actually is very rapidly um, uh, replicating cells so that they rapidly replicate they grow very fast your digestive system heals very quickly so Couple of weeks should be enough to start seeing some significant benefits, okay? And then I, what I do then is I have a maintenance dose. So then I would, I, I would still have like maybe the two tablespoons in the morning. I'd still keep up my intermittent um, uh, routine as much as possible, intermittent fasting routine. But what I then would sometimes do is add this to smoothies. So I, I, I'd add this into um, a smoothie that's really delicious. Uh, I'd mix it in with um, things like chocolate, cacao, if you're okay with it. Some people get allergies to these things, so you've got to be careful of what you put into your smoothie. Um, but I would definitely strip out things that cause allergies for the rest of my life. Like, so I very much minimize dairy, I minimize wheat and gluten, because I know that unfortunately these crops are growing on a big scale and dairy, which is mass produced, is always going to be subjected to um, contaminants and, uh, and artificial things and chemicals that are made by these big companies that want to sell things on a massive scale. So this is how to use colostrum to fix 
uh, your, your leaky gut or digestive issues. And below this video, you're gonna get a nice article that explains to you why colostrum works and, and its healing benefits uh, for your digestive tract and how to look after your microbiome. Plus, you're gonna have a, I'm giving you a list of the foods you should avoid um, when you're repairing your digestive system. Okay, so this is Neeraj, and you just got a dose of truth prescribed from the Renegade Pharmacist, and I'll see you in the next video.